how to hit the golf ball first then the turf now we all know with our iron shots ideally we want to be hitting the golf ball first and then the grass after it. That's how all the great players hit those amazing golf shots you see. You see a big divot come out, the ball goes sailing into the air and they generally hit most of their targets. So if you're struggling with hitting your irons especially, you don't feel like you're hitting the ball first, you actually feel like you're maybe hitting the ground first then the ball and you're just struggling to make solid contact, then in this next video I'm going to show you two really simple drills that will show you how to hit the ball first, then the turf, and play much better golf. I'll see you shortly. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. At this channel, I show you how to play the game of golf easy with at-home golf drills you can practice that will lead to lasting improvement in the game of golf. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this so we can both keep on improving and playing better golf together. Let's get started. Okay, so you want to know how to hit the golf ball first, then the turf. So you probably know by now to hit your iron solid, you need to be hitting the ball first, then the turf. And what I mean by that is, I chuck a ball down here. Ideally what we don't want to be doing is making our swing and hitting somewhere back here, hitting the ground first, then the ball, and then maybe taking more turf. That leads in a very fat golf shot that doesn't really go anywhere and it's not what we want to do. So we want to be hitting the golf ball first. This is how all the great players hit their iron shots. They hit the ball first. They really compress down on it. They get their hands forward. Then they take a divot and they swing through. So typically where most golfers go wrong, as I alluded to before is, if I'm set up to a ball here, most golfers, their divot will start somewhere back here, anywhere from a few inches to even more back here. Before they hit the golf ball, leads to a lot of fat shots. Some of them might know they need to hit the ball first and they'll slide too far over to the left. They might catch the ball first, but they'll just catch the ball only and they won't even take a divot. And that leads to a lot of really thin, really skinny golf shots. So and a lot of that has got to do with poor weight shift also another factor, if you're someone that is struggling with this, it could also be your setup as well. So the first one being weight shift. If I'm set up to a ball like this, when I go to the top here, I shift a little bit of weight to that right side. As I come down, it's really important that you shift, start shifting that weight and that downswing onto this lead side as you come down to impact. Where a lot of golfers go wrong is they shift that weight to the rear side and they keep it there. And as you can see, as I come down here, that right shoulder drops, I hit somewhere back here and I finish like that. No good at all, a lot of problems happen from that. And the other issue might be it's set up with your ball position. This is really key. If you have your ball position, for example, too far forward. Now I've got an eight iron here for this example. Just say I've got that 8-iron ball position way up in my stance there and I make a swing. It's really hard for me to get compression on the golf ball, hit the ball first and then take a divot when I'm all the way back here, lean back in this position here. And that'll happen if you have the ball too far forward in your stance. So ideally, and again it depends on what club, I've got a, an 8-iron here. For the 8-iron, I want it somewhere in the middle of my stance. So if I've got my setup here, I want it somewhere in the middle, somewhere nice and comfortable, with my hands hanging down that I can make a swing, I can comfortably catch that ball first, and then take a divot after. So again, as you get into the longer irons, you go through seven, six, five, four, it will get slightly further forward, but don't move it too far forward, because that'll make it really difficult for you to catch the ball first, and then take the turf afterwards. So those are typically the two most common issues golfers have got and you might suffer from one of them. So let's get stuck in the drills and get this fixed for you. Okay, here's our first drill to help you hit the ball first and then the turf. So all you're gonna need for this is, 
We've got a couple of golf tees. Now, preferably you're going to need plastic ones here because if you do use wooden ones, they're probably going to break. So unless you've got quite a few of them, plastic ones are a good option. If not, no problem at all. Again, I've got an 8 iron. You can pretty much use any sort of iron club you wish will do the job. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place these both in the ground. Now, I'm going to place them roughly about, let's see. What have we got here? We're roughly probably about two club heads, the width of the club head times two apart. And now the idea of this drill is, if I make a good swing and I shift my weight correctly, I'm aiming to hit both of those tees as I make a practice swing through to the follow through. If I can do that, I'm gonna be ideally in a great spot to be able to catch a ball first and then take a divot afterwards. Because what it means is, as I'm coming down, I'm not only catching the ball, but I'm continuing on that, that beautiful arc of the swing and swinging through and catching the other tee, I'm more likely to hit a solid iron shot. What I don't want to be doing is swinging and sort of lifting up. All I, you don't want to be thinking about just catching the first ball or the first tee in this instance here. You want to be thinking about hitting the ball and continuing that, that movement past the ball. And in this case, catching the second tee. So let's give one, give one a go. So I want to hit that first tee, but then I want to hit the second tee as well. Make sure I've got the, the right position. You can see there, I caught both those tees. I think the, the other one at the front went flying way out that way. Now if I'd been hitting a, a golf ball there, I would have nicely compressed on the golf ball and then taken a bit of divot straight afterwards. And that's ideally what you want to be doing. So I'm going to practice and show you another one. And I'm going to show you an incorrect golf swing and what it would look like. So this drill is perfect to practice at home. You don't need to go to the driving range for this. You can practice this at home. Eventually you can lead up to heading to the range and actually hitting balls. I'm going to show you a drill shortly that you're going to be able to take to the range and do it that way. But for this one here, I'm going to show you the incorrect way. And this would be someone that swings like this, leaves too much weight on their rear side and is just trying to lift the ball into the air and, and not even think about driving through and taking a divot. So this is what it would look like. And this would be the result. So you can see they're hung back. I just clipped the front tee and it barely, it's barely moved a foot. I barely hit that second one because what I did was I had all my weight on my rear side and I was trying to lift the ball up into the air instead of staying down. And I barely hit that first tee. So this is a, a really simple exercise, a really simple drill you can practice at home. Grab those two tees, make sure you get the width right. Practice driving through. Make sure you get that weight shifting and moving through. I'll pop a video up above, another video that talks about getting into that ideal impact position in the golf swing, which really ties in really great with this. So have a look for that video here above. I'm going to get stuck into the next drill. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this first drill to help you hit the golf ball first and then a divot. Maybe you've tried another drill that's worked really well for you. Drop a comment down below. I will reply to every comment. Okay, here's drill number two to help you hit the golf ball first, then the turf. So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab a towel. This works really effectively. This You can use this for actually hitting golf balls or just practice rehearsing like I'm going to be doing here today. So what I'm going to do is lie this down. Now you can use really anything for this drill. You could use a bit of cardboard, a magazine or just something really flat as a reference point and that works really well. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be setting my iron up in an imaginary spot where the golf ball would be and that would be just on the edge of this towel, probably about an inch just somewhere there. And what you're aiming to do is make golf swings 
Without hitting this towel here, we want to be having our divot start somewhere around here. Now, this will be really challenging if you've struggled with this before and be really easy to hit that towel. It just takes a number of repetitions to get this right. What we don't want to be doing is if you set up here, is making a swing and keeping your weight back and, and doing something like that. That's what you want to avoid doing. So, as I set this up, I want to be making a divot. I want to be making a divot that starts on the other side of the towel there that would represent the ball. We'd hit the ball here and then follow on from there. So let's give it a shot. This is, it does take a bit of practice. So I'm just going to tee up with my, set up with my iron here. I'm going to be aiming for that divot to fall on this, this side of the towel. So it wasn't too bad. I think I hit somewhere around about there somewhere. That would have been a pretty good spot. Catch the ball first and then a divot. So let's give another one a go. That one was a little bit forward, somewhere around there somewhere. That one was pretty good. That's right about spot on. You can see the divot started right there. That's pretty much perfect what we're looking for to catch that ball first, then the turf. So practice this at home first, by all means. Again, find whatever reference point works with you, a towel, or even a, an old scorecard will do the job. Then once you get to the driving range, you can do the same thing actually hitting balls. Pop down that towel, put balls there and practice hitting them just with short shots to begin with. Making sure you're getting that weight shifting and getting that divot starting after where that towel is and that will help you compress the golf ball and hit them much, much more solid further and a lot straighter and really lower your golf scores. There you have it. Now you know how to hit the golf ball first, then the turf. Hope this video has really helped you out. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments about this video, make sure you pop them down below. Now, below this video, I'll have a link to a free video. It's called Three Secret Moves. Make sure you get a hold of that. Also have another link down below to some further golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. Also have a video up above, now that will talk about another drill I've explained about hitting the golf ball first and then the turf, and that gives you another fantastic drill that will really help you out. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.